Hi everyone, I'm Margarit Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the most outrageous fashion myths I've heard that definitely have nothing to do with reality, that definitely need to be busted, that definitely need not to exist at all. And yeah, they trigger me, as you can obviously hear, so much, so much, especially when I hear them from like people that are not necessarily like professionals in the fashion industry or people who I feel like they need to share this like advice or like fashion bloggers that are saying this doesn't match with this you can wear this with this and I'm like who made these rules these rules first of all are so outdated they have no stylistic basis in them for them to work so I don't know where they came from and why are they still here so they need definitely to be cancelled. This is the only thing that needs to be cancelled right now. So let's start with the first thing. And the first thing is matching your handbag to shoes. Never in my lifetime have I seen any look that kind of benefited from matching shoes to handbags and vice versa. There's no such thing and it doesn't necessarily have to be a thing first of all and second of all. So if we're talking about a crazy outfit, so something on a more like finished crazier side with multiple colors and finishes etc. Yeah definitely in that case we can match bags to shoes because we need to die down everything and make it look more cohesive and like put together and less crazy. So we need to kind of die it down. But on the opposite end of a spectrum if we're talking about a kind of a more of a classic basic look if you're matching your bags to your shoes you're making your look even more basic and less interesting and there's less personality to it that's the first thing and then the second thing that has to do with proportions and how they're distributed in your look so when you match your bags to your shoes anything that's up top to anything that's down below so for example your top to your shoes or most of the time your back to your shoes what ends up happening is that these two things so your top and your bottom start gravitating visually to each other therefore your silhouette looks shorter and less like streamlined so in order to reverse that effect we actually need to dismatch your bags to your shoes so that your top looks separate and your bottom looks separate as well therefore your silhouette is going to look slimmer longer and more proportionate and beautiful this works especially for petite girls petite girls listen to this do not actually match your bags to your shoes in order to elongate your proportions and your silhouette and let me show you multiple examples where shoes and bags don't match and this looks absolutely beautiful obviously you can there's no rule that you can't match your shoes to your bags but just be aware of the consequences of this especially in a very basic look especially on a petite girl the second myth that I've heard times and times again is that blacks and deep blues and navies and browns don't match together and I'm like where did it come from like what's the source of this obviously precious secret knowledge that these things don't match they actually do match and in order to test this out we need to look outside into the future into the nature and when you look at like trees and ground and soil and flowers and rivers etc this is a natural match of colors and shades and obviously there's dark browns and obviously there's blacks next to it and they look amazing together and there's something navy and there's something pretty black in there and they look amazing together as well so there's no rule that actual rule that works that says these don't match and actually in a look your navies and your blacks are going to create such a beautiful combination and there's going to be more depth to your look because this is going to look more like an analogous scheme in your color wheel so you feel like there's gradient 
flowing in your look and same goes for browns and blacks and they look so classy and beautiful together especially if you're like a minimalistic person with a more classic approach to your wardrobe these two there's three actually so blacks and browns and blacks and navies look so beautiful together and actually this goes for all the like deeper shades so deep olive deep navy deep blue deep burgundy all of these work with black and they look so beautiful together so obviously these do match and actually to add up to this point warmer whites and off whites so off whites and then white whites so cooler whites people say that they don't match and they actually match beautifully together just like the previous ones they occur naturally outside and you can definitely see some moments when we see something very like white white so like chalk white and something off white and they look amazing together same goes for your outfits and i feel like this also creates a bigger like depth and beauty to your look when you match something off white with something which is white but on a cooler side it also looks more like sophisticated and not too matchy matchy because when you try too hard to match a white to a white so you try to make everything like very cool or everything off-white you still end up not matching them but you look like you tried too hard which is something i usually try to avoid and i try to avoid with styling my clients as well then we've talked about petites previously so let's touch up on petites petite girls can't wear oversized clothing this is such a load of if you know what i mean i feel like if when you know your first of all let's just come down for a second let's look at Olsen twins so the Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen and how they wear oversized they don't follow any rules that you can imagine in terms of styling petite girls and they're pretty petite they're very petite actually they wear oversized clothing all the time and they look amazing in everything that they wear because first of all that's just their style they don't give a and second of all they know their proportions so most of the time when they see them wearing for example an oversized sweater with an oversized pant which is usually like a no-no huge no-no especially without heels for petite girls they actually show some skin or tie like a skinny scarf or have like a bigger more structured back to this look and it ends up looking very balanced so the only thing you need to know it doesn't matter what's your height actually what really matters is is the proportions that you create with your look and you can actually be very intentional in terms of styling yourself in everything oversized oversized sweater or jumper oversized bottoms like oversized jeans and then no heel shoes and then oversized let's say bomber or oversized trench coat and then a hobo back so nothing is structured everything's oversized everything's huge but then it still is going to look very intentional if you want it to just try to diversify colors for example so not everything's black so just make every something navy or something brown or something beigey and this is going to create a beauty to your look you don't need to wear everything fitted especially if you're petite girl i know you've heard this time and time again that you need to wear something that's very body hugging in order to show your proportions because then you're gonna look much shorter if you wear something over this is such bullshit it doesn't work actually and if you want to kind of make oversized things work more if you're not going for that Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen oversized look like very baggy you can always balance oversized things with something pretty straight not necessarily body hugging but something straight like straight jeans or straight top depending on something that you wear down below or up top so if you wear something oversized up top like an oversized blazer oversized t-shirt then go for straight or like kick flare jeans for example and vice versa the other way around you can wear something like body hugging up top like a fitted t-shirt but then huge oversized Balenciaga style jeans and then you can always balance all of these things with a pointier toe of your shoe so belay flats belay flats can also have a pointier toe uh, also kitten heels boots etc and also some platforms you do not actually have to wear high heels in order to balance out your proportions and make you look more proportionate especially if you're a petite girl the only thing you need to have a an appropriate shoe to balance out the proportions in your look and it doesn't have to be a heel it can be a platform it's 
pretty comfortable most of the time. It looks amazing. It could be a platform sneaker, it could be a platform loafer, it could be a platform boot. It looks amazing. It gives you height, it gives you proportion, it lengthens your silhouette. So it's a win-win in all of these situations. And yeah, you can wear all of these oversized things and still look absolutely amazing. The myth that I feel like is very like hush hush no no in the fashion community still is wearing silvers and golds in your look mixed up together so like gold buttons on your jacket then a silver hardware back which is obviously such a joke because first of all in nature you see silver and gold things mixed together and especially in a look if you want to look more like relaxed and je ne sais quoi approach like french women do what you need to do is actually mix silver silvers and golds because this approach actually what it does it heightens up the relaxation in your look and the depth and 3d-ness of your look because there's different things to it just like we add different textures we need to add different finishes so i have a gold watch but i have a platinum but it looks like silver ring which looks absolutely amazing there's nothing wrong to it especially actually which what happens usually is when people try to match golds it looks just like too much it looks like you're you know, you wore everything you had in your jewelry box at once, just right now, and walked out the door. And what you need to do instead is like take a couple of things off and mix and match. I love mixing gold hardware on your back and then a blazer with silver buttons. I feel like it looks really relaxed. I feel like it looks more finished and beautiful and it definitely works. So do not try and tell me or anyone in the fashion community and not only in there that golds and silvers don't match because obviously they do they look so beautiful together one more example of that is a cartier panther watch with golds and silvers actually stainless steel if i remember correctly in a band so it looks so beautiful so if cartier does it everyone can do it and the last myth i need to bust for sure is coats need to be shorter than the skirt or a dress so basically what it goes for is when your dress or your skirt is longer than your coat so it kind of peeks out of your coat it doesn't look like stylish or beautiful it looks like messy which was a rule in like 1950s but it's not 50s anymore it's modern world now it's 21st century everyone's wearing whatever they want and especially in terms of length this just works your coat does not need to cover your skirt or your dresses or anything actually it can be very short and then your bottoms like jeans or skirts can be longer and this could be a beautiful proportion in and of itself so there's just no such rule just like shoes and bags that don't match this just doesn't exist you can wear whatever you want and i'll show you some examples specifically of looks when you have skirts and dresses that are definitely much longer than your coat and it still works and it still looks beautiful so this one's also busted let me know in the comments below which fashion myths you've heard specifically like recently in the social media area like on tiktok instagram etc that feel like they cannot exist anymore they feel like they need to be busted let me know in the comments below about these please because i'm so so ready to make like a next like second or third episode of this myth busting series we can make this a series for people to know that there's not actually so many strict rules in fashion and fashion is all about expressing yourself in clothing and less about following everything that's been dictated by other people so yeah and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.